ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to be here and talk about the urgency, impact, and solution. If you look at the forests in the world, this is the Amazon, the very big forest in the world, very important part of our world. In 1975, you can see it's full of forest, full of trees. The same place in 2003, much of the forest has been destroyed already. Why? Because they were told to have pasture land, produce a lot of meat, they can make a lot of money out of it. So they destroyed the forest. And as you can see, the population of the world has increased so much. When I was born in this world, there were only 2,000 uh, million people. Now there are 6,700 million people in the world. So it's a big increase. And so we consume more and more of our resources. In fact, we are now consumerist. We believe in using up all the resources that we have. We don't have much oil left, only 35 years. We are consuming everything as fast as we can. And you know, if we really calculate uh, how the world can sustain all these people, you will find that it cannot sustain people. We don't have enough food, for example, to sustain everybody. We have people, million people, dying uh, of starvation in Africa because we don't have enough food. So, if we really need to be able to sustain everybody, using the way we are living now, we need at least 1.5 world to sustain everybody. Okay? But we don't have that. And you know, if we live like the Americans do, okay, then we need at least five worlds to sustain all of us. So everything depends on how we live, how we lead our life. We are destroying forests, we are burning up things. The effect is global warming. Things are warming up throughout the world. Temperature is increasing as we go along. When I was born, okay, we had about 300 parts per million ppm of carbon dioxide. Now we are almost up to 400. Okay, it's 395 now. Okay, and the temperature increase since I was born is almost one degree Celsius already. So there's a big increase. This is a measurement uh, over land and sea uh, of the temperature. In the past, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot. But in the past 30 years or so, it's just going up. The temperature is just going up everywhere. And the result is that you get um, change in the colors of the corals. Corals are dying uh, in the sea because of the temperature rise. You don't see colorful corals so much now, okay, because uh, they're dying. We get more and more big, big storms everywhere, whether we call it hurricane, whether we call it cyclone or typhoons, it's all the same. Uh, they're very disastrous uh, to all of us. We are now uh, having less and less water available. Look at this lake, okay, in 1963, shared by four countries, but in 1973, there's less and less water. 2001, very little water left. 2007, there's no more water. So we are getting shorter and shorter of water everywhere, um, and this is a big concern for the United Nations because uh, they came to us and said, please go around the world and talk about water shortage 
and try to bring human values into water education because people will start to fight over water. Water is so essential for our life. Well, we say the temperature increases by about one degree Celsius around the world, but actually it increases far more in the North Pole, okay, in Europe, there's a big increase in temperature, also in the South Pole, okay, uh, where we are, Singapore is, is not uh, so much hotter, you may not have noticed so much, okay. So the result is that ice is melting everywhere. This is in the North Pole, okay, you are getting less and less ice everywhere, it's melting, uh, but this does not contribute to rising sea level because ice is in the water, it's in the sea. Okay? So uh, when you have a glass of water with ice floating on it, you notice the level of the water. It doesn't change when the, when the ice melts, but uh, still it's creating a lot of problem uh, for our friends, the, the, the polar bears. Okay, they love to live on ice, so they try to find ice where they can go and live, okay? And it's very difficult for them now because there's less and less ice available. Soon they will fall into the water and they struggle for a little while. Yes, they can swim, but they're not good swimmers, but finally they will die. And within less than 10 years, they will become extinct from our world. And when you have animals becoming extinct, then there will be a lot of problems for other animals, okay? The food chain and everything will be affected and you get more and more extinction of various uh, animals.